after Stuart Howell's death. Nearly two weeks passed with barely any recording. I imagine Nathan and his mother Annie were busy with funeral plans. Brian seemed to have kept to himself uh, following his most recent outburst. Molly, however, was still continuing the investigation on her own. Hi, I came here a few days ago to talk about some of the art pieces. Okay. Um, I spoke to a guy maybe in his late 30s. He showed me a bunch of his paintings of the woods and stuff. Um, is he here? Uh, no, he, um, he doesn't work here anymore. Oh. Unfortunately for Molly, information was hard to come by. Hi. I was wondering, could I ask you a couple questions? All right, have a good one. Have you seen anything strange here lately? Okay, thanks anyway. Yeah, that's okay. Thank you. As always, Molly did her best, but it just wasn't working anymore. For the first time, she sounded unsure of whether or not to go on. With an unknown body count and no signs of slowing down. Blackwood is in desperate need of help. I've done everything I can to expose the people I believe are responsible. However, this town seems to resist every attempt I make. And now, after everything we've seen, I can't, I think it's finally time to end the podcast. Molly, Nathan is here. Hey, I'm in my room. Hey. Hey. How you holding up? Uh, I'm okay, I think. I'm sorry I haven't really texted you or anything. It's, it's okay. You've had other stuff to worry about. Yeah, just a little. <clears throat> How are you, though? Um, I'm... I'm okay, too. How's your mom? She's actually pretty good, I think. Been working nonstop. I think she just wants to be distracted, you know? But it's not like we didn't know this was coming, right? I mean, I don't know if that makes it any easier. <sighs> yeah, so here's the thing. What? What's up? Well, the whole reason we moved to Blackwood was to take care of my grandpa and... Oh, uh... Yeah, so basically I don't, uh, I don't really know if I'm going to be around much longer. Right. Yeah, so I mean, listen, I, I literally have no idea what we're going to do, but, you know, just, I, I wanted to let you know. Well, do you want to leave? No, but there's just so much baggage here. Yeah. God, the night he died, I just... I lost it. I just stood there screaming at him. I mean, you've, you can't blame yourself. I couldn't get it out of my head. He was, I mean, Molly, he was responsible for, for everything. I'm not so sure. What, what do you mean? I mean, it's been 30 years since Abby Dunn and Matt Cooper died, right? Around the time your grandfather wrote a note about making sacrifices. Yeah, speaking but of- But I've been doing some research. There are more deaths, a lot more bodies in the park, like Arnold Cooper, who died only weeks ago. I mean, so unless if your grandfather was sneaking out at night to hang bodies from the dead tree, I don't think it was him. Walter's group, the, um... The brood. Right, the brood. They're the ones to blame, really, but you can't ignore the fact that my grandfather was a part of it. I mean, yeah, but it's so much bigger than one person, and they have been getting away with it for a very long time. Which brings me to this. When Mom and I were cleaning out Grandpa's room, I found this box at the back of his closet. It's just labeled office, so my mom was gonna throw it away, but... Oh my god. I think this is everything my grandfather had about the brood. Wait, how much is here? Uh, some of the pages are ripped, but look, listen to this. Like fire, the triumph is not in the discovery, but the harnessing. Whoa. I'm sorry to say my predecessors misunderstood this vital point. Countless lives have been lost over centuries, unseen, warged, waged only against ourselves. I will do what I can to spare the innocent people of Blackwood, but still, the tree will demand blood. It is always thirsty. What? Uh, the next page is a picture of the dead tree, and at the center there's a heart. I mean, it, is it a heart? It looks more like a nest. Maybe it's both.
Molly and Nathan flipped through dozens of loose pages, drawings, and half-empty journals. They learned that the brood was originally formed hundreds of years ago as a defense against the bugs in the woods, a small group who would watch each other's backs. Over time, though, as they grew to understand the creatures, they began to study some of their more unique properties. Another diagram of the cicada. This one's about poison glands. Poison glands? How could your grandpa hide all of this from your family? I don't think these are cicadas, Molly. Yeah, you know, on this page, your grandfather calls them, uh, somnum ex exterior -y. What? Listen to this. Gestation might last a generation, making their secretions all the more valuable. So all those people, Abby Dunn, Matt Cooper, they were all, what, fed to a bunch of bugs? I know. This is insane. That's why we have to stop them. How? What do you mean, how? We, we've got the proof, so... What, what proof, Nathan? All of this, and, and, and what? All we have is a bunch of crazy writings and drawings. And even if anyone believed in it, can we actually prove that people in this town are... What? Worshipping a tree? You were the one who said we had to keep recording, to capture as much of okay, this as possible. Okay, I know I did. What I'm saying now is we really need to think about what we're doing here. Nathan, before you came over, I was trying to record an ending. I think we should consider quitting while we still can. Molly, you can quit if you want, but I'm not going to... Okay, I don't want to quit. I know. I know, believe me, I get it. I, I'm sorry. I'm not mad at you or anything. I just... I, I can't quit. Not if my family is the one responsible for the horrible things happening here. Nathan... I can't stop now. Okay, Molly, we are so close to being able to put an end to all this. I don't think that's true. <sighs> When's the last time you talked to Brian? That... Not for a while. I thought for sure he'd be at the funeral, but... Yeah, wow. I... I still can't believe that he didn't go. Are you mad at him? I know I should be, but I just... Honestly, I'm, I'm just glad it's over. Have you seen him, at least? Not since the night that he lost it. I think I want to go over there. You know, see if he's okay, if he wants to keep digging with me. I don't know if you should. He was seriously screwed up. Maybe, but come on, he's my friend. I have to at least try. <sighs> okay, let's go. What, now you want to come with me? If you're going to keep going, I'm not going to let you do it without me. I'm nervous. You can leave. No, no, I'm, I'm not nervous for me. I just, I'm worried about him. Yeah. Well, you know, if he's doing this stuff. Oh, hey. Come in. Hey, man, how, uh... I miss you. I miss both you guys. What's up? Oh, gosh, I, I mean, I missed you too. Um, you know, I just, about last time. Uh, no, no, please, stop. You don't have to apologize. It's cool. I forgive you. Wait, you... Forgive me. Yeah. You know, and I apologize, but I get it. You're just doing you. What does that mean? The recording. The show. You know, it's no big deal. No big deal. Can I get you a drink or something? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. All right. Uh, here you go. And here Thanks. you go. Yeah. Tell me, what's up? I feel like I haven't seen you guys in forever. How's the podcast going? Yeah. You know, I've been thinking about ending it, actually. Oh, no way. You love that thing. Yeah, I know. I just feel like maybe it's smarter to give it a rest for now, you know? Yeah. Yeah, no, that might be good. What about you, Nathan? Oh, uh, well, I've just been kind of dealing with all this stuff with my grandpa, you know? Uh-huh. You know, the, the funeral is finally over. So, uh, time to move on, I guess. We missed you, by the way. Oh. Right. Uh, yeah, sorry about that, buddy. You guys want to go downstairs? Uh, yeah. Um, sure. Yeah, sure. Great. Let's go. So, we wanted to ask you if... <clears throat> What's wrong? Are you okay? A headache. Have you seen a doctor or anything? Why would I see a doctor? It's a headache. <laughs> okay. It's just, we're worried about you. <laughs> you can worry about yourselves. I'm good. All good. 
Right. Um, so, so yeah, what you been up to? It's been chilling, man. I've been here, just watching, watching, like, movies. And oh, it's hot right? down here. Sorry. Yeah, I've actually, I've been working on something that I want to finish up. Is that what all this sawdust is? Do you want me to put on a movie or set up a game for you guys? <sighs> no. It, well, actually, we came over to see if you wanted to take a look at some of these documents with us. My grandpa Wait, I thought, some... didn't you say we were done with this crap? Yeah, I did, but that was before Nathan told me that he found all this stuff. All right. Yeah, let me see. What you got? Uh, it's just, you know, it's a lot of my grandfather's writing, trying to explain oh, everything. Cool. This is so goddamn cool. What? Look at this picture. It's later. Pupils are like little flies. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I saw a few things like that somewhere in there, actually. Yeah, it's like everyone has bugs on the brain. Bug brain. That's yeah, pretty cool. You should write that down. Bug brain. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess this venom, like, hypnotizes you. Oh! You know what? That, that's actually part of the story. What story? The legend of the Blackwood Bug Man. You know, he sends a little spider or something to crawl into your ear and it whispers to you and tells you to do things. So maybe that's based on this. Maybe the bugs in the woods, when they bite you, they like So wait, to... if this is true, then if the bugs make people easy to control, I wonder if that's what the brood is really about, control. Then why would they be killing people? Maybe they get rid of people they see as threats. My Cooper wrote that he didn't believe Abby Dunn's death was an accident. Yeah, and his son was obviously skeptical too. So the brood got rid of him? And well, your grandfather, Nathan, he writes in here that he was trying to protect innocent people in town. Maybe someone else in the brood didn't quite agree with oh, him. Oh, hey, that reminds me. My grandpa wanted me to pass a message to you. Yeah? He said he's sorry your grandpa finally died. Also, you're fired. Okay. Brian, what exactly did he say? Same shit about how it's a shame Stuart had to go out like this, and... Yeah, he said his offer to you has been rescinded. I mean, I only took the job so I could figure out what he was up to. No, so Nathan, like... I think he means the offer to join the brood has been rescinded. Hey, what time does your grandpa get home, Brian? Huh? Oh, he's... he's away right now. Where? <laughs> I don't give a shit. How long? Uh, I, I don't know. He left, like, a week ago. So you've just been here alone? Yeah. No big deal. I've got to grab something from upstairs real quick. I've been struggling to get anyone to talk to me. Like, way more than usual. And now Walter's just gone? I think they're freezing us out. Like, they're done with us. Well, then I guess it's time to stop talking and finally do something. Brian seemed uncomfortable and uninterested in looking through Stuart Howell's long-lost writings. As Molly and Nathan studied every page, he hid himself upstairs, busying himself possibly to avoid confronting the insane true purpose of his grandfather's organization. Here, Nathan, come take a look at this. Some sort of diagram. More buck stuff? No, no, I think it's a diagram of a person who's been bitten. What? See, look, um, dry throat, irritated skin, rash, susceptible to suggestion. Wait, wait, wait is, is that how they- Higher doses, confusion, mood swings, headaches. Hey, hey, come check this out. Dizzy spells, exhaustion. Brian drove a shitload of holes in the wall. Increased aggression, violence. Seriously, look at all this. What, what the hell was he doing? I don't know. But I'm telling you, something is wrong here. Yeah. And I I think it all ties back to... It's because of the dead tree. Okay, well, fine. Let me chop it down. Bad idea. Whoa, what? It's a bad idea. We're, we're just... If you want to run all over the town asking people idiotic questions... You can be my guest, but I'm not going to let you get anywhere near the dead tree again. Ryan, what do you care? <laughs> what do I care? Yeah, right. Why, why should I care? We can't just let them get away with this stuff anymore. We can, uh, someone needs to stop them. Oh, uh, yeah, and that's going to be you? Maybe. If we could just go check out the dead tree. God damn it, dude! I said no! All right, all right, man. Just... No, it's not all right, okay? You, you, you have no idea how lucky you are. And I've been right here the whole time. The whole time! What? Brian, you need to calm down. We're just, we're talking Th about... That's the thing. You're always talking. I know. You're talking to each other. You're talking about me, behind my back. No, no, no. We're just worried that You need to tell me you're not going to do anything stupid, Nathan. I'm not going to do anything stupid. Tell me like you mean it. Ryan, we just told you that we're done with this stuff. <laughs> yeah, but that's the thing. You tell me a lot of stuff. Get up. What? I said get your ass up. Okay, man. Just, just relax. You weren't thinking straight. No, I think I'm thinking pretty clearly, actually. You shouldn't have come here. Brian. I know a lot more than you think I know. Before you moved here, everything was fine. We were fine. Oh, shit. Tell him, Molly. Tell him how much happier we were before Nathan showed Stop up. Stop it. Come on, Nathan. You know what, dude? 
You're just a spoiled asshole who doesn't know when to shut his mouth. Okay, I can't just sit back and do nothing while the brute strangles this town, okay? You idiot! Oh my god, you- Ow! Ryan! Ah! Oh, my head! My oh head. my god! Ryan, what's wrong? Oh god, my goddamn head! What do, ah! we, what do we do, Molly? But... I don't know, I'm gonna- I, I need to call someone. Ah! Is he? He's still breathing. Ryan. Ryan, can you hear me? Okay, Molly, we need to call for help. Oh my god. His chest. He's covered. He's covered in bug bites. Get away from him. Oh, Molly. Molly. I'm gonna make you listen. I'm gonna make you listen! Ryan! Come on, get off me! Stop! Ryan! Who's laughing now, Nathan? I am. It's oh. just me! Oh god! I'm sorry, Ryan! You are sorry! Are you okay? We have to get out of here. Seemingly out of his mind, Brian had actually attacked Nathan. With only a split second to make a decision and unable to pull Brian away, Molly impulsively broke a bottle against her oldest friend's temple. Years of friendship destroyed in mere weeks of investigation. In a panic, Molly and Nathan ran. I can't believe you did that. Oh my god. Are you okay? Yeah, my arm. Uh, I think so. Oh god. Are you alright? I hit him. Oh my god, I hit him and he was bleeding. Molly, well, you were right. We have to stop. We have to call an ambulance. Yeah, yeah, you're okay. Uh, can you find a, a payphone, something anonymous? Oh my god, I shouldn't have done that. Oh my god. Hey, yeah, you, you don't have a choice, okay? I, I thought he was gonna kill us. Ethan, what the hell are we gonna do? Call for help, but I want you to go home and I want you to pretend you've been there all day. Or, or, Tell your parents whatever you have to. Just say that you weren't with me. Wait, what? I, what? I don't understand. What are you saying? Enough is enough. This has to stop. Just go. Call for help. Nathan, I said, where are you going? I'm going to burn down that goddamn tree. That night, a fire burned through Prescott Park. As for Nathan, well, Nathan Howell was never heard from again. From Skylark, this is Blackwood. On the next episode... No, 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 I never, I never said that. I never said that they were dead. After Nathan and Brian, you know, I did, I got smarter. I stopped opening my mouth, stopped poking beehives, and I took the first opportunity I had to leave. Listen, whatever, do what you have to do. Just don't expect me to go along with any of it. And trust me when I tell you that no matter how strongly you think you're going to find answers, do not go to Blackwood. The final episode of the season will be released next Wednesday. Subscribe now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, SkylarkMedia.com, or wherever you're listening to this right now. Find a link to subscribe to Blackwood and more information in the episode notes. Simply tap or swipe over the cover art. You'll also see some offers from our sponsors. Please support our shows by supporting them. If you like what you heard, we'd love you to give us a five-star rating and review. And be sure to tell your friends and show them how to subscribe. The story doesn't have to end here. Be sure to visit skylarkmedia.com to hear more Blackwood and other Skylark shows. You can even view bonus content like Stuart Howell's secret writing. Blackwood was directed by Mark Freiberger, produced by April Lamb, written by Will Rogers, story by Will Rogers and Derek Smith. Executive produced by Ryan Hogan, Derek Smith, and Joshua Holly from Skylark, and Marshall Louie from Wondery, with performances by Becca Walker, Ian Coletti, Cameron Johnson, and Ken Kirby, co-starring Anne Ryerson and Rachel Mellon. <laughs>